Hey, everybody. I want to talk to you about a new nonprofit initiative from the biodiversity group called Connects and Conserve. Who am I? I'm Scott Tregesser. I am a conservation biologist and photographer. I am the founder of Connect and Conserve. I'm the executive director and president of the biodiversity group and the director and co-founder of the Creative Conservation Alliance. And through these diverse experiences I've had, I've identified a few uh, gaps and um, needs within the conservation sector that I've decided to address through the biodiversity group, and one of which is Connect and Conserve. So at its very core, Connect and Conserve is simply a database aggregating information from all conservation organizations around the world. Uh, inf information such as revenue and expenditures, what species they're working on, where are they working on it, how are they working on it. Now this information is easy, isn't easy to come by, which is why it hasn't been done before now. And we're providing this data freely through informative dashboards to anybody who's interested, including the general public, governments, or other conservations. So as you can imagine, this is extremely important data that hasn't been available up until now. And with it, we can finally do a holistic and objective analysis of the conservation sector. Uh, for instance, currently, if we're trying to estimate conservation funding, uh, we extrapolate from protected area management funding. And that's a very rough estimate. While useful, um, we, this suit will supersede this and provide a much better resolution on what, uh, what we're doing and what we're not doing. Uh, for the biodiversity group, this is extremely important because we focus on conserving life overlooked, which is these species that are being underserved in places that are being underserved. Uh, and right now we can't objectively define that, but with this data, we, we finally will be able to. Not only that, but we can actually connect uh, not only conservationists with other conservationists, but conservationists with donors and funders, such as the general public. Uh, the general public, if you ask them where to donate right now, they simply don't know most of the time, or if they do, it's to one of the you know, five bingos, the big NGOs. Uh, so this will democratize public donations to smaller NGOs and uh, be able to serve the public in a better way. So if they actually, if they want to specifically fund a specific animal, such as aardvarks or tree kangaroos or what have you, they will be able to easily go to this website, find the organization in the place that they want to be protecting in the way that they want to protect it. They want it through con community conservation, through research, they can find that and they can use the site as a donation portal to that organization. We've actually made significant progress towards these goals already. Connectandconserve.org, the alpha version, has been deployed. It's not citable yet, but we've included nearly 6,000 organizations from around the world and their associated data. Data such as what species they're conserving, how they're conserving it, where they're conserving it, how much money is being spent to conserve these species. Uh, this data has not been available prior, and so this is actually really exciting progress. Not only that, we've also mapped U.S.-based expenditures per country. Uh, which, since the U.S. has the most, the highest philanthropic contributions of any country in the world, this is a significant milestone in our eventual goal to map all conservation expenditure and revenue data around the world. If you manage a conservation organization, your public data is likely represented on this database. We would encourage you to go to your organizational profile and validate the data so that we can represent you in the most, most truthful manner. We're constantly improving our scraping and data curation abilities, but there are going to be errors in the data as, as this is an alpha version. Um, as we improve the curation abilities, we will be publishing the data so that we can make citable actions in the conservation sector. As you can imagine, the biodiversity group is extremely excited to offer this to the conservation community. I hope you're excited to receive it. This is, first and foremost, an initiative by conservationists for conservationists. Uh, if you manage a conservation organization, please go validate your data on the website. It doesn't take long. We want to represent you as accurately as possible so the results are as accurate as possible so we can make informed decisions. Uh, please also, if you can just peruse the website, suggest any organizations which we may have missed, which we most certainly have, uh, or if you have any constructive criticisms, ideas, or networks to connect us with, we're very open to any of this and it's super helpful. Um, if you can go on the website and see what kind of technical support we need, re currently require or any operational support that you can uh, provide. Now, like I said, this is a nonprofit initiative. It's operating under the umbrella of the Biodiversity Group, and you can always reach out to me at scott at biodiversitygroup.org. Thanks for coming.